In the film Eddie Murphy's Coming to America, we had a young prince who was marvelously black and in total Nubian cast that allowed us to enjoy what it would be like if you were a foreign person coming from across the seas into a different culture, a different society, and one with different social nuances. The beginning, of course, of my audio cast is not to highlight the film and the marvelous job that he did, or the beauty and the marvelment that we had and what we found through that script and how famous and popular it became for his life. What we can learn about him and his life is that he had quite the reign as a black person in television and film. Not only did he begin his life in Saturday Night Live and a stand-up comedian, but he moved his life across through with his comedic capabilities and his acting prowess through lots of film. He also became a musician for a short period of time, and he might have even acted on stage, I cannot say. What really matters to us in America is not who you are or what you've done exactly, but how you practice your star. You see, your star is a shining one, and everyone has a right to shine their star, their light, upon someone. But only take our time and our light and our life force, ministry, and shine it on ourselves, we often end up looking pompous and, pompous and crass. And when I talk about these things, I'm not talking about those who feel that blacks should reign, as if it's the final hour of America and if this is the way that we find our power. What I also know is that throughout history, we've had black people and white people fighting side by side for important controversial issues in politics and oftentimes, oftentimes types of abuses. We have to remember that we've come a long way by using all the colors of the rainbow every day to make America the greatest nation on earth. What we know about God from a marvelous film called Robin Hood is that God likes diversity and he paints everyone.